On this week's episode of Footings to Finished, we're gonna check out lot five and lot six. We're making progress and we almost have a completed home at Oakland Ridge Estates in Pelham, New Hampshire. I'm Steph Saunders with Key Team at Compass and you found Footings to Finished. Before we get into it today, I wanna give a huge shout out to my hometown, Manchester, New Hampshire, for being the number two hottest city to live in in the United States, according to realtor.com. It's no surprise, all of my listings in Manchester over the last two years have been hot, hot, hot. If you're interested in making a move to Manchester, feel free to reach out. I'll give you all the details. I'm back at lot five. And as you can see, we haven't done a ton to this property because we're really waiting for somebody to pick it up. It's $925,000. And so you can choose the finishes because once we order the finishes, well, you kind of stuck with what you got. We did add a fireplace here. They're working on some stairs. Some progress has been made, but most of the progress has been happening over at lot six, where we are so close to completing this beautiful home. Let's check it out. Walking into the three car garage here at lot five. Again, huge ceilings. And we do have our staircase finally. So come along, we'll walk up the staircase and we walk right into a generous sized mudroom. So you come in here, you're gonna have a closet, big area for all your things. Then you move into the kitchen. We've made it over to lot six. And as you can see to the front and right, we have installed our leach field. This is a massive leach field and it's all clean, perfect, freshly installed. We've made it into lot six and the countertops and stone are in. I just wanted to show you how beautiful. So this quartz goes all the way throughout the kitchen and then they even went and did the entire backsplash behind the stove, which I absolutely love. And then if you come in here, they did the same thing to the wet bar as well. So carried the stone here and here as well. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite kinds of quartz, white with a very simple light veining, beautiful and timeless. They did go for a classic farmhouse trio right over the oversized island. Lighting fixtures have gone into the home. So here's one in the dining room. And then we can also take a peek at one here in the foyer. More granite on the double vanity here in the primary bathroom. We took a look at this wonderful floor to ceiling shower with the retaining wall and they've added a big soaking tub right under the window. Here is an update on the laundry room. They went with a darker granite. It still has a shiny finish though. That's just a little bit of construction dust. I showed you the septic tank last week through the window, but here it is up close in person. And we've got some more stonework here. Next, we're gonna take a walk through the development. Isn't it great? It's so pretty out this weekend. We're gonna check in on lot 10 where my buyers are building a beautiful new home just in time for the holidays. Here we are at lot 10. As you can see, they're flattening it out. We're about to dig down and do the footings. Anywhere where you see little orange markers, those are actually the boundaries of the home. So it looks like this home is gonna be set right back here. This is lot 10. An interesting fact about the building process is, okay, you come to the new construction lot, you pick your lot, you do your discovery phase, which is where we kind of hash out all of the upgrades you wanna do, the final price, then we move to purchase and sale. That usually takes about two weeks. Then we have to formally submit your plan. Sometimes they have to go back to the engineers for a redraw. And then we have to formally submit your plans for building permits from the town. And let me tell you, towns are slow as molasses. States are slow as molasses, New Hampshire. So bear with us. But by the time you sign purchase and sale, it could be a month or six weeks before we can legally start building. So we add that in to your build time. If you're loving this new construction content, then why not subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to tune in next Wednesday for another episode of Footings to Finish. We are so close to finishing this beautiful home. I'm Steph Saunders with Key Team at Compass, and I'll see you next week.